Raymond V is a Swiss luxury watchmaker founded by Raymond V in Geneva, Switzerland in 1976. The company is family owned and is now managed by Elie Bernheim, Raymond V's grandson, and his brother, Pierre Bernheim. It is one of the last independent brands in the Swiss watch industry. Raymond V was born in Geneva in 1926. After he got his diploma in commerce, he entered Cami Watch SA, a Swiss watchmaker, in 1949 where he was to become manager and spend 26 years of his life. In 1976, during the quartz crisis that greatly affected the watch industry, he decided to create the brand that bears his name with his colleague from the Cami Watch Company, Simon Bedat. With the vast international network of Simon Bedat, a distribution network was set up first in Europe and then worldwide. Also in 1976, Raymond Vey released his first ever watch collection, the Golden Eagle. This collection was composed of sporty octagonal watches that were manufactured with quartz movements. Vey's son-in-law, Oliver Bernheim, entered the company in 1982 after several years working in the marketing field for Heineken and Unilever and Simone Bedat's son, Christian. Bernheim is married to Mr. Vey's eldest daughter, Diana a professional pianist who have had three children together, Ellie, Pierre, and Noemi. In 1983, the Amadeus Collection was created. This collection marks the beginning of the influence of music and the arts on collection names. Named after the classical Austrian composer Mozart, this collection was launched in conjunction with Milos Forman's critically acclaimed film of the same name. 1992 saw the launch of Amadeus 200, the brand's first sports watch. From that moment, almost all collection names were to be music-inspired. The collection Fidelio was released in 1985. It was named after Beethoven's only opera and was manufactured with both round and square dials. The release of the Othello collection in 1986 was to celebrate Raymond Vey's Genève's 10th anniversary and saw Raymond Vey's first moon phase complication, also known as the Othello moon phase collection. Othello was famous for its ultra-thin timepieces, which were 1.2 millimeters thick. It was relaunched in 2001 for the 25th anniversary of the brand, which for the occasion associated with the music band Bond. In 1989, the brand shot its Eternity advertising campaign in Iceland and associated a new slogan to it, When Time is Creation. The campaign displayed watches through water, earth, wind, and fire. The Parsifal Collection was released in 1991 and is named after Wagner's opera, it was the brand's first stainless steel and 18K gold collection. 1992 saw the launch of the Golden Jewelry and Diamond line. This collection was relaunched in 2010, 20 years after its creation and is still available today. The Precision Movements campaign, shot in 1994, is probably one of the most popular as it was directed by John Booth and shot by acclaimed photographer Louis Greenfield. It portrayed dancers in midair, symbolizing the essence of the campaign. The campaign was awarded the 1995 London International Advertising Award. It consolidated Raymond Vey's image as a brand committed to the arts. The Tradition Collection was released in 1994 as well. The collection is both a ladies' and men's collection and is composed of quartz and mechanical movements. The Tango Collection was created in 1995 and is composed of both feminine and masculine watches and is still available today. 1996 saw the release of the Duo Jubilee and the Toccata Collections. The limited edition Duo Jubilee collection was designed to celebrate the brand's 20th anniversary. The dial could indicate the time from two different time zones and was powered by a double quartz movement. The Takota collection was a quartz only collection. It was discontinued until 2014 when the collection was redesigned and relaunched. The collection is said to be a tribute to the art of composing and is still available today. Also in 1996, Oliver Bernheim was appointed president and CEO and has been working on the development of the brand's worldwide presence since then. The 1997 W1 collection featured six different colored dials and models for both men and women. W1 were the first watches by Raymond Vey Geneve to be partly made of carbon fiber. In the year of 1998, there were five different watch collections released. The first was the Tema collection. Tema is an all-ladies collection inspired by the Art Deco style. It is considered Raymond Vey's first jewel light collection. It was manufactured with quartz movements. The second, the Allegro collection. Created for both ladies and men, Allegro was mainly made of steel and gold plating and produced in quartz automatic movements and chronograph. The third, the Saxo collection. The Saxo collection paid homage to jazz music and included both men and ladies watches and automatic and quartz movements. 
the fourth, the Flamenco Collection. This collection once again illustrated Raymond V. Geneve's attachment to the arts. It was composed of both feminine and masculine timepieces. The fifth, the Don Giovanni Collection. Fourteen years after the launch of the Amadeus Collection, Raymond V. Geneve pays a new homage to Austrian composer Mozart with this collection. The Celebrate the Movement advertising campaign was also launched in 1998 and emphasized Raymond Vey's attachment to music, art, and culture. Don Giovanni Cosi Grande. This all-male collection was released in 2002 and is fully mechanical and exclusively composed of square dial models. They include chronograph, two time zones, and jumping hour mechanical complications. The Time to Celebrate campaign was launched in 2003. It focused on the timepieces and placed them against black backgrounds and hard shadows. 2005 saw the partnership between Raymond V. Geneve and actress Charlize Theron, who became the ambassador of the brand for a few months. The Woman's Shine collection was first seen in 2006. Its distinctive characteristic is the patented, interchangeable bracelet system, which allows the wearer to easily change the strap. Each watch is sold with a leather or denim strap, as well as a metal bracelet. This collection was manufactured with a quartz movement. Ellie and Pierre Bernheim, Oliver Bernheim's sons, joined the company the same year. Ellie Bernheim, who was the eldest son of Oliver and also the co-founder of 88 Rue du Rhone, worked as a marketing director and works on the strategic development of the brand while preserving its family identity. Pierre is a sales director and travels to develop new markets. The Freelancer is both a ladies' and men's collection and was released in 2007. Its name is claimed to be homage to Mr. Vey and his desire to remain independent. This collection saw the introduction of a balance wheel visible through an aperture on the dial and the creation of a mechanical range for ladies. The collection was enhanced with special models. Freelancer Black 8, Freelancer Autumn Time, Freelancer Crazy Time, Freelancer Lady Sunshine, and Freelancer Urban Black, and is still available today. The new Nabuku campaign and slogan, Independence is a State of Mind, were released in 2007. The campaign reveals the determination of the Nabuku man in his choice of independence and freedom. In 2008, Raymond Vey became the official watch and timing partner of the Brit Awards. Each year, the company designs a special edition watch awarded to each presenter, nominee, and artist. In 2009, the brand released the collection Noemia. The name is a reference to Mr. Vey's granddaughter, Noemi. It is a ladies' collection and offers two diameters and is manufactured with a quartz movement. A special edition Noemia Sweet October was designed in 2010 to benefit Susan G. Komen's Breast Cancer Foundation, Komen for the Cure. The Maestro Collection proposes both ladies and men's watches and was released in 2010. The collection was enhanced in 2011 when Maestro Phase de Lune watches, which as their name suggests, is equipped with a moon phase complication. That same year also saw the creation of the Maestro 35th Anniversary Edition to celebrate the brand's 35th year of activity in the watchmaking field and a special edition to benefit the Union for International Cancer Control. Raymond V. Geneve also partnered with American Idol Music Contest in 2010 and 2011 and offered a timepiece to each of the finalists. Raymond V. organized in 2011 a new music talent competition inviting amateur musicians to create a track inspired by the Swiss watch brand. The contest was hosted on ICA's co-creation platform, and the winner was awarded a 5000 US dollar cash prize, as well as a Raymond Vey timepiece and the promotion of the winning track on the brand's website and Facebook page. Also in 2011, the brand abandoned its independence as a state of mind slogan in favor of a new one, Precision is my inspiration. And along with the new slogan, a film was released called Precision is My Inspiration, which depicts a man and a woman in a rich musical universe and was shot in the Victoria Hall in Geneva. The Jasmine Collection was released in 2011. They are a ladies' collection and offers models in both quartz and automatic movements. In July of 2013, Raymond Vey became an official timing partner of the Royal Albert Hall in London and the SSE Hydro Music Venue in Glasgow, Scotland. Also in 2013, the company started a partnership with Wired, a live music platform based in London that supports emerging music artists. On January 27, 2014, the company announced that Raymond Vey died at age 87. He was married and had two daughters and six grandchildren. Ellie Bernheim was appointed CEO of Raymond Vey in April 2014, succeeding his father, Oliver Bernheim, and continues to develop and consolidate his status among the leading names of the Swiss watch industry. In 2016, Raymond Vey celebrated its 40th anniversary by creating special edition timepieces for the Fab Four, the iconic Beatles, 
Buddy Holly, the pioneer of rock and roll, and David Bowie, which would have been his 70th birthday. The brand also created limited edition timepieces for artists and brands such as Frank Sinatra to celebrate their 100th anniversary, Gibson Guitars, Sennheiser, and Nicola Benedetti. Also in 2016, Raymond Vey announced an exceptional partnership with the world's leading music company, Universal Music, a collaboration that provides curated music channels on the brand's website, as well as exclusive access to music downloads for Raymond Vey watch owners. The history of Raymond Vey is one of a family. Today, this family is continuing its legacy by creating musically inspired timepieces and constantly adapting to the evolution of time. Hello, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a like and check out our similar videos right here. If you want to stay up to date with the new and interesting content that we create, you can subscribe to our channel, which is linked right here. And lastly, if you need any help with your watch, make sure to go to our Times Ticking website, which is linked right here. See you next time.